Welcome to the Four Jars Kitchen. If you're new, my name is Mike, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to can some chicken. Now before we get to cutting this delicious chicken, one of the things we need to go ahead and make sure we do is to wash our jars. So when we go ahead and cut these, um, I like to do them like an inch, I would say. We also wanna make sure that we're leaving an inch and a quarter headspace. Now before we get to sealing the jars up, you wanna make sure that you have a nice clean surface for the seal. Also, I wanna mention when canning meats, you wanna make sure that you have a good durable product because it's gonna be in the pressure canner for over an hour at 10 pounds. You don't wanna have all your hard work go to waste. That's why with the four jars lid, we've improved a lot of things. So the difference between your standard lid, our lid is thicker than almost any lid on the market. We've increased the thickness to make sure that you get a durable product. Now we're finally ready to get the chicken into the pressure canner. Since we're not doing it with bone, we're all gonna stick to that 75 minutes. The jiggler's still jiggling a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the stove. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just let it depressurize on its own. All right, we finally got the jars out and you can still see that they're bubbling a little bit, which it's gonna take some time to get them cooled down. Probably another 24 hours before we really start checking the lids, the seals, making sure that everything is good. If you're still new to canning, you don't know where to start or what some of the rules are, we're gonna go ahead and link down below the website for the NCHFP. They're gonna have all the guidelines and all the rules that you need to start canning and to have safe canning in your kitchen. Whether it's from how to sterilize the jars, how to wash the jars, how to can chicken, how to can other meats, jams, jellies, they've got it all. From the time, the pressure, the altitude, whether it's pressure canning or water bathing, they're gonna get you covered. So if you guys need any help or information on that, click down below. I wanna say thank you for watching and happy canning.